views without being beaten up. Once you have a view that is different okay. in this country, there's a right. tendency that people beat up on you and then you go quiet because you're afraid of what will come. The Gender Affairs Minister boldly going where few dare to venture in this country, abortion and gay rights. At a consultation on the national gender policy, Mrs. Sindros Grace referred to them as the two elephants in the room. However, she says, as urgent matters of public health and human rights, we can no longer choose to ignore them. The figures of the hospitals are there. It's astounding of how many battery abortions. Poor women who can't afford to get proper health care. Teenagers who are afraid to, to come out and say that they're pregnant. They do things that harm themselves, and we must pay attention to that. She indicated during her opening remarks that the draft policy on gender and development was often held back by the two hot topics. On the gay rights issue, Mrs. Sinderos Graves indicated that as a human rights activist, she was for everyone being able to access the rights of ordinary citizens and gave her full support to groups like gay, lesbian and transgender organization Kaisu, which held a protest outside Parliament last Friday. She also came out in support of facilities for abortion to be made available. She made reference to Barbados where legal abortions were available at state institutions under certain conditions. Mrs. Sinrose Graves also made it clear, however, that her position was not necessarily that of the government and could not say if such a mechanism might eventually be made available here. She says while her own views and those coming out of the consultation will certainly involve how these issues are treated in the new draft policy, it is up to cabinet to decide which are ultimately accepted and which will be tabled in parliament. For TV6 News, I'm Nathan Briggs. Now to our people media, should the government state its position on abortion and gay rights? To vote yes or no, you can text your response. Text yes or no to 4226. Again, Text yes or no to the number 4226. We will give you the results at the end of this newscast. The Tobago House of Assembly's Deputy Chief Secretary, Hilton Sachs, is an unhealthy lifestyle. In our country or in the world, people have rights, they have their opinion, they have ways of living, and things are changing in the world today. But I have been brought up in the old school, the generation which I, I came from, where I knew that we as a people never supported homosexual women. Mr. Sandy went on, he quoted from the Bible saying, the book said to be fruitful and to multiply did not mean same sex. He said in order for the population of the country to increase, same-sex marriage should not be condoned. In fact, Mr. Sandy said, same-sex marriage won't keep the population of the country balanced and there can be more diseases. We can have problems. Further to this, I am not a doctor, I am not a scientist, but we may end up if we encourage same-sex like that, we may have more casualties or more money to spend on health. Mr. Sandy stressed this view was not of the THA but of his own. 